Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So this seems to be working out. This count seems to be following the third wave down. It was in line pretty much with Bitcoin's count as well. Bitcoin did lose support and that caused ADA probably to follow and to lose support as well. We are now heading down here in what at the moment seems to be a third wave down. Um, already illustrated this on the chart earlier today uh, in the day before. Oh, actually we reached See, I can't even remember, I put that box on here, but I probably did um, for the wave two, which was a res another short possibility, yeah. So we had a pullback trade here as a possibility or a short setup when it touched resistance down. And here again, touching resistance down. Honestly, the day has been so long, I can't remember, I put it here. I can't remember if I put it here after the last video, before the last video or in the last video. Anyway, it's still here and um, Whenever these touch it, you know, these prices, it can be a pullback trade. So anybody who set a short limit here, epic, epic short trade, um, wave three down target for the third. And here again, this is an example of, um, of course, you know, trade setups don't work 100% of the time, but here it's illustrating the, um, it's, illustrating the idea of why pullback trading in my it, it works much better for me than break breakout trading yeah? i mean you could have traded the breakout here and you would probably also be in profit but where do you set your stop loss you would probably set your stop loss okay you could set it here but it's not really an invalidation point so i actually you need to set your stop loss up here so you're way way far far away from the breakout um as a pullback trader, you can set a sell limit order obviously here, then you could set one more here and one more here with a stop loss above the box. And okay, yeah, it doesn't always work out, of course, you know, but um, in, in this case, if you're shorting a third wave, I mean, as a maximum, you would risk here basically 2%, but you're not really, really risking 2% of your portfolio because you scale your position sizing accordingly. So here, to be fair, it would have only triggered a very small position size in theory because where you're far away from the stop loss, you should set the, the position size smaller because your risk is higher. But again, if it then fails, it fails and you you risk 2% of your position at least. But as you can see here, you know, it's it's like um, a wave three. It can be so attractive because here it's gone 6% down now, which is quite decent. Um, so if we... If we, if we, if we, what did I want to do? Yeah, just here to show that, yeah. So when we talk about, all right, you're in a short position, maybe it goes down a bit lower, okay? So yeah, around about 6% down, maybe from the entry, and it gives you quite a nice risk or reward to risk ratio, yeah? Normally it should be at least two, two and a half, a better three or above. Um, and let's say if it really goes down here to the target of the third wave, which at the moment it looks like, so we're talking round about here 35 cents, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, then your reward to risk ratio goes higher. Yeah, And uh, if you have a good reward to risk ratio, I mean, in the end, it should go much lower anyway. Yeah, um, It should go much lower anyway, in, in if this count is correct. So we're talking about maybe going down to 32, 33 uh, cents. But the point is that you can lose quite a lot of trades if you have a decent reward to risk and if you let your winners run and you cut your losers short uh, quick, you know, fast, early, whatever. So let's um, calculate target now for the third wave. So there's at the moment no, no need to change the count here. Um, wave two up. So what you would normally expect for the third wave here is to reach the 1.618 extension. So we're talking about 34.9 cents. That would match broadly with what I would expect for Bitcoin. I mean, maybe it doesn't get quite there, but it should do. If it's the third wave, it should get to the 1.618 extension. Um, what is sometimes useful, if you're really in a, let's say, scalp trade, really in an intraday trade, it might make sense at some point to take partial profits at the one-to-one -one ratio and then take further profits at the 1.618. And then you could start to scale up again in the wave four and take profits um, towards the 1.786 extension later and the 200% extension. Yeah. And then you should be there here for your wave three, which might reach sort of the 34 cent level. These are the possible support levels based on FIPS. And then we should get a wave four up and a wave five down. This is what the theory at the moment says. What I need to be very, very careful about is that if we see five waves down now, so if the wave three is done, I would 
if anybody you know if anybody's interested in ADA I would I will do but I won't trade ADA because I do have too much ADA in my portfolio anyway for historical reasons right but if I see that ADA or if I see the coin a coin well in, I have to relate it to ADA let's say if I wanted to buy ADA and I see ADA to come down and make these three waves down it could be an A B C and it could in theory finish off this entire correction why because in one of the counts we're looking at the scenario this could just be a one two setup and a one two setup which means after a possible a b c yeah that we don't get one two three four five and a b and c but only an a b c in a wave two um this could already finish it okay so i will uh be aware you know that after the third wave here in yellow this could already mean a bit of a turnaround so the thing is there's no problem with scaling in around the wave three area um and again I w you know if we talk if we talk about support for this scenario then we're talking about the area yeah so i would say the way this looks at the moment it should be the area between 34.72 and 32.9 as a first support area you could then trade the fourth wave even though the fourth wave would probably be shallow because the wave two was quite steep okay the wave two is a zigzag abc yeah very clear top uh so typically the wave four would be shallow you've got that theory of alternation when the wave two is a zigzag then the wave four will most likely be a triangle or it will be a flat pattern and flat patterns are usually just sideways movements they can be frustrating so um trading the wave four might not be too attractive um but you could still start to scale in here if you want to because there is no guarantee we got into this support area with the two scenarios we have on the table bear in mind support doesn't mean target i'm not telling you it will go into this area this is support this is the support area where the downtrend will slow down and where we should we shouldn't go below 27.6 because then there is a risk that this entire impulse to the upside failed so i can really only give you a target when i have these waves complete yeah so for the wave one and two i get well i gave you a target for the third wave so for this wave th uh, three here yeah we just did that i will actually highlight that now on, on the chart because you can really only calculate target once you have something complete so if i calculate it again so take the length of the wave one we go to the high of the two target here for the three is 34.8 so we're going to put that onto the chart 1.618 extension ideal target yeah and then we can also take the um for the for the yellow wave three no that's what i just did isn't it one second see the day was already very long one second I, I need to i need to start again we take this wave one in white yeah we want to look at the sub counts first so take that wave one that wave two and then we get to okay 34.9 okay so what we then have to do um this is the next target yeah so i can't really give you a super accurate target for the wave three yet because i don't know the subdivisions yet they're not finished yet but we can get a rough estimation by taking here the yellow one go to the yellow two we see that the 1.618 target here makes no sense therefore what might make sense is to look at the 200 percent extension which is at 33.45 and the 2.618 extension we talk about 31.3 cents really interesting so i will um, focus on that anyway we've got a bit of movement in the market which is great so i'll keep you updated um this should should yeah not will but should now go down further um however if we now turn around for whatever reason and break above the recent high so break above 39.1 then um it's gonna it's gonna reduce the likelihood of carrying on with this count actually it will invalidate the white count and i would need to rethink this whole structure okay that's my update about ada i hope you you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye